case, counter plan,
advocate a temporary autonomous zone, yeah, or be that evidence isn't just ad hoc, it's, it's inclusive of the strategy and ideology, which means you should affirm and exclude their own bay evidence, indicates that we should give up the possibility of revolution and change, which means that they exclude the possibility of any kind of progressive action. They say beauty outside of the focus away from collective action and soul for beauty. We do not have to accept the state's definition, but we shouldn't be, we shouldn't preclude ourselves from a certain kind of politics. You should not allow beauty to wear our extrapolations of this or fix our books and evidence. The temporary autonomous zone empirically fails to give empirical examples of how people acted in temporary autonomous zones in the 60s, but One. they just uh, disappeared from the political scene. Soon it's seen afterwards our bare work evidence indicates that, that it, if we are ever to challenge the way that the state has hegemony over the way that we define the lives and things like that, we should we, we should find ways to address human suffering, not just dance around in temporary autonomous zones. There's hermitage evidence indicates that they don't like collective and class struggle, uh, uh, which uh, which denies us personal responsibility and our parenti evidence indicates that that is uh, we can never solve things like state repression if we do not if we do not engage in the public now. They say um, they say they're not the neoliberal status quo. Well, we don't. We don't advocate something neoliberal. The idea of the autonomous individual as the locus of action it makes all human actions the logic of the market. That, that, that there is no social responsibility in the temporary autonomous zone. They say cracking system, and that's a bad way to approach it. They say they are the public sphere. Valerie explain why they're not. The government does not link to us. The permutation, all of our link arguments about prove why the, the affirmative is, pre uh, is, uh, is uh, precludes the possibility of the alternative. But we read both pieces of evidence on this question. Our Jero evidence and our uh, evidence indicates that they provide no vocabulary for, uh, for approaching the issue of class struggle. Also, our Armitage evidence, and it just doesn't make any sense because they cannot have two different pedagogical moments in their crash and fissures argument. It doesn't make any sense because if they exclude the possibility of progressive change, and we include the possibility that they have no dissent in progressive change, which is the way that you should read the debate. Can I get your one seat of the case, your Armitage evidence, and the other evidence? Thanks, Mr. Chairman. 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 Th